Hey there, it's Anna. Today I am sitting in the garden and I have kind of a little bit of a different video um, to shoot today. But I wanted to talk about all the things I kind of keep in my garden bag. And I don't know, just because the holidays are coming up, you might be doing some gift giving. I needed to sort this out and organize it. So I thought I would take you with me as I kind of sort through my garden bag and talk about, you know, some of my favorite things, some of my, my go-tos and just basically what I've got in here. So in my garden, I have a bit of like an urban little um, backyard garden. I don't have room for a huge, um, like, <laughs> I, I guess, you know, a huge shed or something to keep all my garden things. So I tend to keep them in a bag and I do also have a garden plot. So I'm also traveling over to the garden plot um, and, and things like that. So the garden bag, um, is handy because I can just have all the things that I use and take them wherever I want, bring them out into the garden with me when I'm coming out into the garden and so forth. Um, and so I thought I'd just share what I've got in it. So this is just like a basic garden bag. I don't know this exact bag because um, it was given to me as a gift. I will try to link um, a few things in the uh, description. Um, and I got a lot of this stuff in my Amazon shop too, like if you're just looking for the specific things. But anyways, in the middle compartment is where I put my tools. I still have the tag on this after a million years. Um, but this is just like a really kind of classic um, garden rake. And then I have a little um, spade too, but I just used it. So it's all wet. So I'm like, I'm gonna let that dry. But I like to put that here in the center and this part, just gets a little bit dirty and everything and I, I just try not to worry about it and then I also have one of these foldable saws you know this is just a Fiskars brand little saw it's nothing special but for a small size garden like this it's nice and it's actually useful um, there's always you know bigger branches like say my banana plants like things like that that you need to have something a little bit bigger so um, definitely for like the small backyard gardener this is great and it just like you press the button and it pops open I also usually have um, some fertilizer whatever fertilizer I'm using right now um, we are not in like the main fertilizer season so I don't really have a serious hole this fertilizer this is actually um, a, a seaweed fertilizer and I wanted to just put this on some of my uh, plants like in the early spring so i had this in here to remind myself one thing i don't put in here are liquid fertilizers though because i don't want them to spill uh, but it's just handy to have this here otherwise i'm going back and forth and you know as easy as it is to just walk through the house to the garage you know how you know how it happens like you end up not not wanting to do that so um I just keep the fertilizer in the bag and that's super handy. If you're stuck, you know, making a bag for someone for, this would be like a great Christmas present for a gardener, like stuff a little bag for them. Um, you know, a little fertilizer is always nice. And then the other thing that I keep in this area that gets, you know, dirty are gloves. And these are some of my favorite gloves. You can get these um, on Amazon. Like I think I come in a pack of three or five even maybe. And I love that because let's face it, gloves get kind of gross and um, it's nice to be able to just switch out for a new uh, <laughs> new pair of gloves when you need it and I just keep them in the dirty section with you know with the trowels it's like the dirt area because I know they're gonna get dirty just leave them in there and pull out a new pair when I need them okay now for the side pockets so zip ties you never know when you're gonna need zip ties. I always have zip ties in my garden bag. Let's see what else we've got in these um, pockets. Oh, twine. This is the other thing that I use so much. I have twine and I also have some florist wire. I honestly use this more for like indoor decorations. It's, um, you know, getting to be the holiday season here. So I've been using this um, to hang some like the ribbons and things on my tree, but I keep it in my garden bag. So I feel like, you know, it might be useful out in the garden. Most of the time I use twine. I've talked about twine a lot. It's not always the sturdiest, like it doesn't necessarily hold up the longest, but it is biodegradable. So if it falls and spills in your garden, it's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about it. And then on the sides, I keep an assortment of garden shears. 
which I think I need to put back. Oh yeah. Here's another one. I, you know, you can get really fancy garden shears. I just use these Fiskars. I like these better than this other one that I have. I have um, this, this kind that has this kind of funky lock and I don't really like that. But this guy here, what is the number on it? AA0421, I'll link it. I like this a lot. It's like just easy to use, super affordable. You can get it online on Amazon. Like just, that's just a good go-to day-to-day one. So I keep that in the side pocket. Keep this in the side pocket as well as a pair of scissors um, for like cutting the twine. You could of course just use your garden shears, but you know, that's kind of nice. And then in this other corner, I have an assortment of plant tags. I actually need to bring down um, some more of them, but I keep plant tags and Sharpies in another little pocket. Let's see. Do I, oh, they're in the wrong space. The Sharpies need to go over here. You never know when you're gonna need Sharpies and it's just handy to have those like tucked right on your bag, right where you know they are. Great thing to have. Here's another pair of gloves. And as you can see, I just put them together and like stick them in the section where I know they're gonna get dirty. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these clean ones in their own little space. I needed to reorganize this anyways. That way the clean ones are separate. Okay, now one of my absolute favorite things. This is a game changer. This is like a little garden mat. It's foldable. You can take the corners, snap them up, and it creates a little mat that has edges. So if you're doing pots, transplanting things, you can collect all that dirt really easily. Such a great product. Of course, you could use any you know of your own tarps or anything like that, but somehow the pre-made tarp is just really nice. And of course it is, um, as I said, it does like tuck up on the sides. So that's really good too. And makes it so that you can actually, let's see, <laughs> makes it so that you can actually collect the dirt and it doesn't just spill everywhere. If I had any like Amazon product that I, I think was like my best favorite thing, th this is great. If you have a gardener that needs a gift, they will thank you, they will love it. Especially if they're garden, like I'm always doing all my transplanting and potting on the stones here in the garden and so then they become a total mess. Uh, so I, I love that because I can keep things clean. Then the last thing I have is this little um, trowel, I guess, for, for weeding. Um, let's see, it's a hoe, a little hoe for weeding. These are so cool. I actually have the full size one and I've used it um, a ton. And then this is brand new. I haven't used it yet, but it's a hand size. And basically you can like just go in and, and go like this and it cuts down all of the weeds. It's made by um, Rogue is the company. It's pretty nice. Very sharp though. So you have to be really careful with that one. Um, and that's why I haven't unwrapped it yet this season because I don't want to, you know, accidentally um, get cut or anything on it. Some of these tools are kind of sharp and you have to be careful. This is a little trowel. I think this came in like a set from when I was a kid, um, but kind of handy. You can need to go around little things. I don't know, just have that in one of the pockets. And then a garden <laughs> journal. Last year I did not, I hardly labeled anything and I certainly did not keep track of planting dates. And that is one of my goals for this year, I am going to log everything that I plant. Luckily, I have, you know, Instagram and I do YouTube here, so I have pretty good record of what I grew, and I definitely go back and look at that all the time. Um, I was just looking back at reels the other day because I wanted to see when I planted some of the lettuce that I have that's doing really well out here, and it was just really nice. So you can, of course, you know, do something like that to keep track of things in the garden, or you know, a notebook. And this is at my gardener's planner. It has some interesting sections. Again, I haven't really gotten into using it, but it's got a calendar. I put in the dates. I need to put in when I want to sew things. I really want to like lock in the dates that I do plant things, the optimal times. It'd be really nice to kind of record that and, and schedule that in. So it's got calendar sections, sections where you can write in what you're planting, what you're to do actually like this is like a garden planner so you can make your list for the week 
and then it has some logs and different things. So I haven't really gotten into fully utilizing it, but one of my 2023 goals is recording everything I do. So I'm just gonna put that in my, my garden bag so it's out here in the garden with me. That's what I find to be the biggest thing is like, you just wanna have things out in the garden with you, right? And the last thing is my kneeler, which doesn't really fit in the garden bag, but I usually just pop it on top. For years, I didn't use a kneeler and it's another like one of those, well, maybe it's not underrated. Maybe everyone uses them with good reason, but I had not used one for years and now I love it. Even if I just use it to like sit down while I'm planting, I love my kneeler. So that's good. I got my garden bag a bit more organized. It was getting pretty chaotic. Usually there's some seeds in here too, but I just emptied those out because I'm pretty much done seed sowing for 2022, at least out in the garden here. There you go, garden bag. Maybe you got an idea for a garden friend, gardener friend or family member as well. Some of those things. Um, I think today is gonna be the last day of my little seven days in the garden. I just had so much fun creating all these videos and I wanted to just put them together. I hate if I get too far ahead um, with shooting videos because then I feel like there's a, such a huge delay between what's going on in the garden and what I'm actually putting out on YouTube. So I'm trying to be more like chronologically together. Um, so I just wanted to do this whole seven days of videos. If you missed any of them, I made a little um, playlist with all of the, the videos from this past week. So you can see seven days in the garden. And then we'll start back up with just normal what's going on in the garden weekly videos. I think I'm going to be probably putting out about two or three videos a week um, over the winter. We'll see as garden projects come up. I usually do stay kind of busy out here because this is my hobby <laughs> and it's what I love to do. Um, but just so you know, that's kind of the plan. Two or three. We'll see. Um, anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I just so appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. I'm going to go put this back inside. Bye-bye.